Will Dad die in the power of a doctor? The upcoming Doctor Who special episode. We know we'll be waving goodbye to Jodie Whittaker as the 13th Doctor, but what about our companion Dan? Doctor Who fans have noticed that the character is absent from marketing materials for the upcoming special episode, even going as far as to find shots in the trailer that may show he is not surviving the upcoming events. The Power of the Doctor airs on October 23rd at 1930 BST on BBC One and BBC iPlayer. As such, it won't be long till we know if this Doctor Who theory is correct or not. However, as a reminder, we'll be discussing trailer shots in detail. Some of this video might spoil a surprise, so be warned. This is our latest Doctor Who theory. Hello everyone, my name is Jack and welcome to TARDIS Central. Before we dive into this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to never miss a video from myself and the team here at TARDIS Central. You of course want to keep up on the latest Doctor Who news lore and more, don't you? So hit that button. But as always, let us know what you think of Doctor Who down below in the comment section. Is Dan going to die? Are you sad about it or happy about it? Comment away, you better not be happy about it. Let's look at the facts. As a companion of the 13th Doctor, Dan is not that present in marketing materials for The Power of the Doctor. We've seen him in some promotional pictures and he's in the trailer a little bit. However, marketing for the BBC Centenary special has been slightly lax. Therefore, we can somewhat excuse the lack of Dan, most likely. The confusion and theories come from one promotional shot. This features Dan standing on the bullet train in an orange spacesuit. We've also got promotional pictures of all the TARDIS gang in these suits to go along with that. However, the single shot of Dan is one we need to focus on. Look at his helmet. It has a bullet hole in the glass, meaning it's not going to work in outer space anymore. Additionally, Dan is holding the Doctor's sonic screwdriver. So, let's take a look at our theory. The Doctor and the gang are known to encounter the Cyber Masters on the bullet train. We see them marching around the train's corridors, as well as a quick shot of one who appears to have fallen into outer space with the gang. The latest trailer for The Power of the Doctor shows Dan boarding the train with the gang, who jumped down from the TARDIS, they all wearing the same spacesuit. Another shot shows decompression on board the train. Dan's bracing against two beams to hold himself from getting sucked into outer space. It's likely that a battle with the Cyber Masters will cause damage to the space bullet train. However, what causes damage to Dan's spacesuit? Surely it can't be the obvious answer of the Cyber Masters. They can't cause bullet holes. Notice they fire typical layers the Cybermen have in Doctor Who, so it's not them. Dan's helmet has a bullet hole that's gone right through the helmet and cracked the glass. So who fired the gun? And who has the gun? We do see a shot in the trailer that shows Yaz holding a gun towards someone. The trailer makes this look like the Master, but it could be anyone due to how promotional trailers are edited. Perhaps it's the Master's gun and he shot Dan's helmet. So Dan can't go into space without a helmet and return to the TARDIS. The obvious answer would be to land the TARDIS inside the train and pick him up from there, or simply get a replacement spacesuit. However, that does not appear to be the plan. In a quick flash of TV spot trailers from Doctor Who, we see Dan flying into space with his broken space helmet. This is a quick second of a trailer. If you blink, you'll miss it. Don't blink. Like always, we're advising, don't, blink. don't blink. Space can be seen around Dan, as the bullet hole is clearly shown in the helmet as he's outside the train. The question is, does Dan die in Doctor Who? The events of the Bullet Train and Cyber Masters seem somewhat implied to take place early on in the Centenary Special. Therefore, we could open with the loss of one of the Doctor's companions, which triggers the overall story of the special episode. However, there is something else to take into consideration. We know Dan will be working with Bradley Walsh's character of Graham. They have worked together while filming The Power of the Doctor. Therefore, scenes of them together have to take place either before or after the train sequence. If they take place after, then no, Dan will not die on the train. However, that does not mean he is safe coming out of a special episode. We know John Bishop will be leaving. We've also got to consider why Dan is holding the Doctor's screwdriver. If he dies, the Doctor would have to go through the adventure without her trusted device. It would add to the stakes of the episode. Ultimately, Dan could die in the upcoming episode, as John Bishop is not returning as companion Dan for Doctor Who's 60th anniversary. The John Bishop who does play Dan in Doctor Who was recently interviewed by the official Doctor Who magazine for Power of the Doctor. The interview is really important, as it's the only one John has done so far for Doctor Who at this point. Due to his comedy tour, he's been absent from press related materials for Doctor Who. Bishop was not even present at the recent press screening for The Power of the Doctor, which did feature Jodie Whittaker, Mandip Gill and other members of the Doctor Who cast. We'll come back to this in a minute as it is kind of important. John reveals that one of the best aspects of Doc 2 filming was establishing a friendship with Jodie and Mandip. He also revealed that he's recently met up with Toz and Cole, who played Ryan. John said, the more you bump into Doc 2 fans, the more you learn about how important it is to people. 
He continued by saying, I only found out this week that Doctor Who's got its own sign in British Sign Language. This is quite important as John's eldest son, Joe, is partially deaf. The interview with John Bishop does not give many details about his time on The Power of the Doctor or the episode. John mainly reflects on his brief time as a part of the Doctor universe and what it means to him. It's basically jumping from being a comedian to coming to a large drama show like Doctor Who. So a new picture from the Doctor Who magazine shows Dan leaving the TARDIS on a street. Perhaps the street that he lives on. The Doctor can be seen standing in the TARDIS doorway while Yaz stands close to Dan. Some fans have theorised on Twitter and social media that this could be him leaving the TARDIS for the last time as he returns home. Another thing to note, the press screening for the episode did make some members of the press cry. Note, the regeneration sequence, including Jodie Whittaker's last moments as the 13th Doctor, was cut. Therefore, whatever made the press upset was not Jodie's final moments. Perhaps the death of a Doctor Who companion has made some very upset about what is happening. We'll need to wait and see. Whether Dan lives or dies in the upcoming special episode, we can't deny that it's been great having John Bishop in Doctor Who. He brought new life and an interesting character to the Doctor Who universe. Some people could connect with him a lot better than, say, Mandip Gill's character. While it appears he might be taking the screen time of Bradley Walsh in the upcoming episode, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Also, many of us are waiting to see what the deal with a broken spacesuit is. Surely he can't survive in outer space for that long. And again, this is Doctor Who, therefore anything's a possibility really. The Doctor Who The Power of a Doctor airs on BBC One and BBC iPlay on October 23rd at 19.30 BST. Make sure to watch on the day if you can, we'll be giving you a review on TARDIS Central that evening, discussing the episode in all the great detail. And we can't wait to bring you our thoughts on the future of Doctor Who and what's next for the long-standing franchise. So, if you want to keep up to date on the latest Doctor Who news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at TARDIS Central. You can also follow us on social media, where recently we hit a thousand followers on Twitter, so thank you, for your daily updates on the Doctor Who universe. For now, I've been Jack here on TARDIS Central. It's been a pleasure bringing you this theory, and hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll see you very soon for the centenary special, The Power of the Doctor. Goodbye, everyone.